Pressure by Charleston, and the Dukes break it easily. Mickens off to Guathme, layup is good, and a foul on the play. And Guathme went down hard. She got undercut un in that side, that circle. And they will call the foul against Charleston. Guathme now getting up and getting a big hand. She went down hard. And it will, uh, and the Dukes turn it over. And that's one of those things that really hurt the Dukes in the game against William and Mary were those unforced turnovers. The situation. to get a call. Here's Henry in backcourt. Now it comes front court, draws a double team. In the corner, it's a three ball. It's good for Deja Logan, her sixth three pointer of the season. And call it Haley Barron. Now it's Mickens, penetrates in the paint, dumps it off inside. Cooper Williams, great catch and lay in. Tremendous catch, tremendous pass by Muff Mickens. That sends Muff Mickens pass. The ball goes to Logan. Logan gets a screen, goes the other way on it, drives to the basket and got the lay in. And that's a situation right there defensively when a screen is coming, the, the, just the system that has to rebound the basketball. Feed into the paint goes to Luna Castro, back out Bolden, top of the key, three is good. That'll tie us again as Bree Bolden gets her first basket of the ball game, a three-pointer. The rebound for the Dukes, who can look for the lead. Mickens, one hands it ahead. Great catch, Griffin on the break, layup good. Tremendous job by Didi Griffin, but the look off from Muff Mickens to Savannah Felgemacher made that play. A 6-1 freshman had it taken away by Guathme. Mickens, other end, dumps off Cooper Williams, layup good. And right there, you're getting your post-production out of Kayla Cooper Williams right now. A lot of excitement after that. Back out, Guathme. Guathme, free throw line. Backs away with a dribble. Comes to the top for a three. Good. And Jasmine Guathme right now, just playing out of her mind. Everything she shot, it's gone in. She's got eight. Here, Mickens, front court. Mickens steadies it. Mickens, hesitation. Pull up, jumper. Good. That one's for the high. Real, just unbelievable play by Muff Mickens. Timeout will be called. Mickens inbounds it to Griffin. Back out Mickens off a screen. Reynolds three ball. Good. And right here, this is what we're used to seeing out of the Dukes executing on the offensive end and just getting stops on the defensive end. It's a lot of fun to watch. Before this run, <laughs> here's Luna Castro in the corner. Bolden three ball is nope, make it a two. She knocked it down. Nine points now for Bolden in the first half, 43-25. Shot back out, Huff. Long deuce won't go. Rebound, Griffin lost it underneath, and the layup is good by Booth, and a foul on Dee, Dee Griffin. And Booth. right there, Kelsey Booth was just able to get inside position on Dee, Dee get that rebound and go up. Front court, Mickens, right side, Guathme. Guathme, baseline pull-up jump shot, good. That's a little more like what the Dukes were doing in the first half. 23 for Jazz Guathme, and the lead four times won't go. Rebound tipped out Butler to Guathme, now to Mickens. Mickens with a shake and bake move to the glass, layup good, oh my. That unbelievable hesitation move right there got Luna Castro completely off her feet, froze her and was able to go up for that layup. Reynolds, back out Mickens, head of the key, free throw line, hesitates down the lane on the left, layup is good. It looks very similar to that play she just had a possession ago, just tremendous. Zone now penetrates to the baseline, Puts up a shot with contact, couldn't hit it. Griffin, rebound, stick back, good. Hey, there we go. That's what we want to see out of Dee Dee Griffin going up strong. The lane dumps it underneath. Cooper Williams couldn't hit the shot. Rebound comes down to Nia Williams. Layup is good. And or excuse me, Ania Young. <laughs> <laughs> Great original pass there by Muff Mickens. And a steal by Ania Young. Dukes on a three on two. Young, right side to the glass, through the foul. And you know, I'll say right here, just a great by to Bolden. Bolden challenges baseline. Double team brings it out. Luna Castro spins baseline, shoots over Destiny Jones, and knocked it down. Taking it, but that time she was able to get to the rim. She's got six. Here's Mickens a drive to the baseline. Turnaround jumper, good. Mickens, 13 in the ball game. I think everybody thought she was going to go to pass it, and she shot it instead. Gets the basketball top of the key. Now to Guafme. Right side, it's Mickens. Mickens baseline from 15. Jumper good. Everything coming up roses for Muff Mickens. And you have to love to see that after her performance she had a Hines now. Corner right side, it goes to Logan. Back out to Hines. Now Huff top for three. Good. Second tray of the ball game for Darian Huff. She's got eight points. 79-50. Left side, Perez for the Dukes. Perez attacks baseline, feeds it off. Destiny Jones, short jumper is good. 
Jones with three in the contest. 81-57, JMU. 30 seconds on the game clock. Logan Reynolds penetrates, bounce pass low. Destiny Jones, layup is good. Nice feed from Reynolds to Jones, 83-61. Front quarters, victory number one in conference play for the preseason favorites. And the Dukes with a nice bounce back after Sunday. Huge run.